beanstalk. Hello. How to climb the vines. Climb and circle around vines with the left stick. Jump to another vine by tilting left stick in the direction you want to go and then pressing B. Use the shadows below you as your guide. Nimbus Department of Transportation. But what are you? Because you're new birdie. Okay. Yeah, they don't seem very strong. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Fort Peak on Birdie. Ice Fear Poison Mute. Ugh, I hate that Valentina. Oh, wow. Oof. Okay. So, yeah. Not uh, too difficult in the grand scheme of things. So we have to use the shadows as our guide. Uh huh. <laughs> what is with those cloud faces? That's such an un Mario like expression as well. I can't think of any Mario character that looks like that or has that expression. Uh, right, so it's this way. Ah, right, I see. Jump on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alternate paths, clearly. But does that affect anything? Let's try going back down, because there was the green... No, the yellow beanstalk here. Oh, there's a frog coin. Okay, I see. Oh, so close. Try again. Alright, wait for him to go. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a lot of coyote time on this jump. Ooh. Yes, around. And climb up. So where does this go? Yeah, this just goes to a different area. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Is this a frog coin? Ah! No. Oh. Right, let's see. Yeah, I'll use the D-pad for this, because uh, I have a feeling that's what it was intended for, this jump, rather than using a control stick. No, oh, I missed. Try again. Uh -huh. Yeah! Oh. It, it feels like you have to keep holding a direction to make sure that you make it all the way across, but then if you... If you press a direction that's the wrong way to go, you'll fall off instantly. Come on. Oh. Oh, it was bound to happen. Woo, one shot. Alright, uh, come back, Mario. I am very glad that the come back uh, spell is one of the cheapest ones. Because I know in a lot of games, the revival spell is one of the most expensive, just because it's obviously the one that you'd use to bring everyone back. The birdie is stunned. I see. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen stun as a status effect before. Just again. Confused. Okay, that must be an innate thing to them then, because I don't think Thunderbolt would do that. Alright, well, solves that problem. Okay. Yeah, ha having the revival spell be very cheap is good, because it feels efficient, you know? As in... Right, I know that I messed up because obviously my um, my character has fallen, but it's fine because of you know being able to do to get them back very quickly. Um, I'm thinking of like the traditional uh, Final Fantasy spells. So you obviously have Cure as the the standard low level heal spell. Then there's Cura, Curaga, uh, and then oh, big trooper, wow. And then there's all the revival spells. I forget what the name of the revi revival spells are, but 
they generally tend to be more expensive than Cure and Cura. Possibly not Curaga, depending on what it does. But you'll have things that are recover half HP and then recover full HP. Big is beautiful. The big guy is ready to launch. Uh-huh. Well, let's make sure we jump on you to stop that from happening. Alright. So now I don't have to worry about timing jumps to get past the enemies. I just need to time this jump to get across. I wonder if I'm supposed to be doing it halfway down. Oh, well. Well, that solves that thing then, doesn't it? There we go. See? Simple solution. Okay. Frog coin. Got the defense scarf. What is the defense scarf? Raises defense power by 10 on both defense and magic defense, which makes sense. So, signal ring. Yeah, reveals the locations of hidden treasures. I don't need this on because I'm not finding the hidden treasures in the first place, so... Sure, we'll put the defense scarf on. Uh, and everything else I think is fine. Booster's charm might be handy, but it takes speed away. Uh, is true form better than... What, wake up? Mutant sleep? Yeah, I think true form is better than that. Okay. And is that everything? Alright, I'm going to assume this is the way to go. Ooh, nice more treasures. Nice little reward for going the the more difficult place. The more difficult path, rather. Hello. The hot springs are up ahead, but only royalty can bathe there. And you don't look so royal. I mean, I have a princess with me. Uh-huh. All right. I, I guess I'm not royalty. Hot springs. Okay. Uh, let's try this jump. Nimbus land. All right, everyone, listen up. Oh, hello. Shut up! King Nimbus' condition is growing worse. This means we'll lose it, be losing our magnificent ruler. But it just so happens I've found the missing prince. Prince Mallow, that is. Oh, Prince Mallow. Prince Mallow, please, sir. Prince. Get over here! Uh, okay, who's this imposter? Well, it seems that little prince has a mild case of stage fright. Excuse me. <laughs> Come on, make it snappy! What? You can't get through? Why am I not surprised? Oh. Well, hello. Introducing Prince Mallow! Welcome back, Prince. You've grown, Prince. Looking fit, Prince. Yes, what is it, dear? What? You're asking me to... Gracious, you're serious, aren't you? Why, well, I don't know what to say. Dear me, I've made my decision. At the request of the prince, I've agreed to come as queen. Queen Valentina. Ooh, it makes me shiver. Well, that's that. Back to your business, everyone. Hurry up, will ya? Yeah, I don't know why I decided to go with the, uh... The Janice from Friends kind of style for that, but it was like literally the first thing she said, going, Shut up! Kind of fit. Can you believe it? What a coincidence! There's a prince with the same name as me! Don't we have anything better to do than hang around here? Come on, let's go and find the rest of the star pieces! Uh huh. I wonder why more people from the world down under don't visit us these days. I hope it's nothing personal. Well, you are at the top of the beanstalk. Hello! Say, you have that. I'm looking for something looking in your eyes. What can I do for you? I would like to buy. Uh, sure, might as well buy one of these. And one of these. And one of these. Party cleanse. Ooh, that's expensive though. So we have the mega glove, sticky glove, hand cannon, and war fan. And we might as well buy them all. Oh, that's interesting. They don't even let you buy more than one of these things. 
and then the fluffy shirt. So it's better defense-wise, but less good for attack. And that's across everyone apart from Peach's fluffy dress. Yeah, I'd rather have more attack than defense. I can always defend myself with super guards. I can't always do more damage. All right, is there anything up here? Aha! See? Taking the signal ring off meant I didn't know that there was actually a, uh, a treasure in here, but you kind of get the feeling that there might be. I used to work for King Nimbus, but all of a sudden one day Valentina, me, Valentina told me I was fired. I just don't get it. He needs help. He's sick. Okay, anything around here? No? Okay. Again, I don't know if there are any hidden treasures here anymore, so... Welcome, come on in. So you want to take a rest? I'm sure that's why you're here. It'll be 30 coins tonight. I'll pass. Please come back again. We'll make a save, because we are now in Nimbus land. And what's down here? Very interesting beds, I must say. I mean, it makes sense, because they are literally clouds. Alright, so... Hello? Poor King Nimbus appears to be a tad under the weather. I used to work in the castle. You should see the way she hits the poor prince. What a horrible life he must live. Was Prince Mello that huge? Well, she says it's him, so it must be him. Why did Prince Mello make Valentina his queen? I guess it's because she found him. I mean... Hmm. I'm watching that volcano over there. What? Star pieces? Hmm. Never heard of them. Hello? We used to be able to walk through the castle freely, but I guess we shouldn't disturb the king now. Have you seen the volcano? Not yet. The volcano's to the east. Sure wish I could take a dip in the springs. And then if we say yes... They say you can get there by the way of the hot springs. Ah, right. So, to go to the volcano to get the star piece, we need to prove that Mallow is indeed the actual prince, which means fighting off Valentina. I hope to serve the king again soon. Prince Mallow, as I remember him, used to be so small, so timid. Now just look at him. Do you know about the royal bus? No. It's a regal vehicle used only by the king. It's parked now due to the fact that he's ill. King Nimbus loves statues and birds. He has scads of them in the castle. Alright, if I say yes. When the king recovers, I'll let you see it. You see, I'm the bus maintenance man. Alright, that makes sense why you know about it then. And then... Okay. So, did we talk to these guys? I wish the king would get well, but at least the prince is back just in case something awful happens. Been a while since I saw Prince Mallow. He's changed, but yes, I do believe that's him. You like the guards we have at the entrance now? I don't. Never used to have them. That's Garrow the Sculptor's place. He used to make all kinds of things for King Nimbus. But these days, the king isn't calling for much new art, what with him being sick and all. Garrow's house. Hi, I'm the Sculptor Garrow. I used to make a lot of statues of King Nimbus. But now all I get are orders for sculptures of Valentina. Huh, I wonder... Oh, yeah. Hey, look, it's me! Oh, you mean that? That's King Nimbus when he was a young lad. Oh, uh, huh? What the? Who are you? Hello, my name is Mallow. And this is my friend Mario. Mallow, so it is you, my boy. It's been so long. My, you've become a splendid young prince. Okay. What? I'm, I'm really a prince? Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, right, yes. Frog Sage, yes. Uh-huh. Now we reveal the truth. Yes, indeed, I understand. So, you were raised by the Frog Sage. There's no question about it. You are, without a doubt, Prince Mallow. Mario, look at me! I'm a prince! I knew Valentina was up to something. I just didn't know what. That must mean the king isn't really gravely ill. Then let's go inside the castle and save my mother and father. Uh, I don't think anyone has mentioned your mum, Mallow, so I wouldn't get your hopes up. Hey, who are you? You can't just barge in here. Wait, I have an excellent idea. Come over here. Smuggle you in as a statue. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Hold still, okay. What, are we pouring molten gold over us? Wow, we actually are. There. Hey, don't move. You're going to be a statue for a while, okay? Let's get going now. 
Okay. It's almost like the, the golden Mario amiibo. I'm delivering Valentina's latest order to her. You may enter. Halt, who goes there? Hey, this doesn't look like Valentina at all. Oh? That's because this is a statue of Valentina's nephew, Mar Mariota, okay? Nephew? Mariota? Uh, okay, proceed. Why do you need to make up a fake name? You can just say, yeah, it's the nephew Mario. Nimbus Castle. Whew, that was close. Didn't think we could get through that one. There is no such person named Mariota. Ha! Oh ho ho! Oh, now this is lovely. My beauty simply shines forth like the sun. Only you can make something this stunning. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'll be on my way now. Halt! What, my ask is this ugly thing? That's my latest masterpiece. I, I created it just for you. It's called In Search of Lost Brother. Observe the thick mustache. With it, I depict his kind feelings for his younger brother. And the sideburns, conveying his strength of heart. And the legs, well-defined, strong. Legs that can leap any distance in a single bound. Is it to your liking? Hmm. I consider myself something of an art buff, and I've got to say this is spectacular. Garo, only you could have created sculptures with such gentle beauty and raw power. Thank you, your... Oh, thank you, your majesty. I'll be on my way now. Just got to do a bit of a code switch. Spectacular! Dodo, Dodo, don't just sit there like a roast. How are you carry these in? Dodo! It's a big boy. Step on it! Can I move? No. Uh, what are you doing? Not sure what that is all about. All right, well, uh, on your way, Dodo. There we go, all right. It kind of annoys me that you get put into an asymmetrical room, as in, obviously, Mario is the odd one out. Dodo! Did you display the statues properly? Fine, now polish them to a fine luster and make them a tribute to my beauty. Pay attention to me, hurry up, and don't let me catch you dozing again. So you have to go back and forth. Yeah, I like this in a in a a room of five statues, not a room of four. Uh oh, Dodo's in a pretty bad mood. Keep up your statue disguise and jump to avoid getting pecked. Get ready because he's coming this way. Mm-hmm. How quickly is he gonna be pecking stuff? Mm-hmm. Surely if he was to try and peck me, he would notice that something is up. What? You saw a statue move? Don't be ridiculous. You're just stalling so you won't have to polish them. I mean, Valentina's downfall to not listening to Dodo. Dun, dun, da, da. Okay, so he doesn't notice that you moved that time. Yeah. Yeah, if you jump too early, he, he's like, I can see what you're doing. Hmm? Ah, it faked me out. Stop bothering me! If you're so worried, why don't you go give it a good peck? See, I don't even get the option to jump now. Yeah, okay. So, I guess you could technically avoid this boss fight if you uh, did that perfectly. But for the purposes of completionism, oh, 
It's probably a situation where you would fight Dodo with Valentina. He's weak to fire, fear, and poison. I'm hungry. Alright, super fireball. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo. Flutter Hush. Oh, okay. Mute. Fine. Let's do Super Fireball again. Go! Mm hmm. Hmm? Yeah, you get XP for that. So, yeah, I suppose that's kind of optimal for level progression. 3 HP, three, uh, 1 attack, 1 magic. Uh, I guess I'll go for mm, attack. Because he is a a physical tank. And our disguise has been removed. Alright, make a save. Over here. 